Hey everybody. Or should I say, hey all you cool cats and kittens. Mm, take a minute. Be sad. Me doing this Monday video and not Jordan. I will do my best to fill some really big shoes. Um, okay, that's it. I've got your Monday rev workout for you. I'm going to start from your warm up and work you into your part A and part B. Your warm up today is going to be two rounds, 30 seconds of each of these movements forward arm circles, backward arm circles, shoulder taps, tempo squats, and calf raises. Once I'm done talking, I will go all the way back through and show you all the movements. So that's going to be uh, just get a little bit of burn going on each part of your body and get you ready to move. Then part A today is just a six minute EMOM of 30 to 40 seconds on the odd minute reverse flies or banded pull aparts. Then on the even minutes we're going to go 30 to 40 seconds of seated Arnold press and that will be over just as quick as it started. Three rounds of each of those. And our workout today is 12 rounds. It's a little bit longer one. 12 rounds of eight ground overhead. And it's up to you whether that is plate ground overhead, double dumbbell ground overhead, clean and jerks, single arm or both, it's up to you, or snatches. It can be dumbbell snatches, kettlebell snatches, you name it, slam ball, ground overhead, um, all of it works. Then 10 squats, holding your weight. You can do front rack, you could do overhead, um, you could do goblet squats, anything there is fine as well. And 12 swings. All right. If you have a slam ball and not a kettlebell or a dumbbell that you can swing, you can switch that to a deadlift if you would like, if you're not comfortable swinging a slam ball back and forth. All right, so I'm gonna start with a warm up. We're gonna go through two rounds of arm circles, arms out wide. We're gonna make just nice, small circles. And as that 10 seconds, sorry, 30 seconds goes on, we'll make our circles bigger and bigger. And so we're going in full range of motion. And then 30 seconds is over. We go to backward arm circles. Same idea. A little bit bigger. And so we're going all the way around with our arm circles. <clears throat> After 30 seconds of that, we go to 30 seconds of shoulder taps. Old and familiar there. Tempo squats, so warm up squats we do all the time. We're just going to go deliberately slow here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then calf raises. If you need to grab onto something, go ahead. We're going to push ourselves up onto our toes and lower back down. If you would like to stand on a plate to do this, so you can lower a little bit further, feel free to do that. Two rounds of those movements for your warm up. Then your part A, I will be right back with because I forgot to get out the equipment okay. for it. Part A is a six minute EMOM. On the odd minutes, we're gonna do reverse flies or band pull aparts. Even minutes, we're gonna do seated Arnold press. So here are those movements. Minute one, if you have dumbbells in the reasonable weight for this. We're going to go reverse fly. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Come down. I'm keeping a slight bend in my elbows and tracing my rib cage. All right. If you don't happen to have dumbbells at work, but you do have a band, I'm going to go here. Same idea, squeeze your shoulder blades together. If you like it better with bent elbows, that's fine as well. What to watch out for is this. Don't stick your chest through and don't shrug your shoulders. Make that movement come from pulling your shoulder blades together. All right, that's minute one. And minute two, you've got your seated Arnold. Got my dumbbells in front of me like I'm gonna do a bicep, or as though I just did a bicep curl. 
from there, I'm twisting out and pressing up, back down. I feel myself leaning back, that's something to watch out for. Up, and down. Just working a few of the small stabilizers by making your shoulder move a little bit as we press. Yeah, that is part A. Six minutes of that, and then you'll be ready to get set up for the workout. 12 rounds, starting from eight ground to overhead. So, if you have smaller dumbbells, that could be one movement, like a double dumbbell snatch. If you've got a kettlebell, you could be going clean and press. Switch sides, clean, and press. That was push press, obviously. Uh, so eight reps of that. So if you are using a heavier thing and you're doing one arm at a time, feel free to do four and four. Then 10 squats. Goblet, four front squats are fine. And finally, 12 swings. If you have, I wanna do what I just said. If you have the lighter weight dumbbells and you wanna do both of those, you can do that as well. Just make sure you take on a wide enough stance that you don't smack your knee, because that would really suck. Uh, if you are swinging a lighter kettlebell, that's great for you to push overhead, but not so great for the swings, try one arm swings. Either do 12 and 12, or six and six. All right, friends, enjoy that Monday workout, and I look forward to hearing how it went. Bye.